Review. Hello YouTube, it's Mango Rhino. Um, fixed my camera's focusing problem, so that won't be an issue anymore. It should always be in focus. Um, right, so today I am doing a tutorial on how to print from your tablet. So you can print to any of the printers that are on your wireless network. Um, actually, it doesn't have to be wireless. Uh, you could do this with a wired network too, I believe. Uh, yeah, as long as the computer that you're using as like the kind of uh, HQ for this is connected to the same network that the computers are on. So how this works, oh, I've got a thunderstorm. First of all, you need to get on a desktop computer that is connected to the same internet as your computer. You need to get Google Chrome if you don't have it already. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open it up. There's the first picture. You're going to open it up. You're going to click on the options, the little wrench, and you're going to go down to options. And once you get to that, sorry, these pictures just get screwed up. You're going to go to under the hood, and then you're going to come down here where it says Google Cloud Print. And mine says disable, but uh, you wouldn't have it enabled before, so you should say enable. You sign in through Gmail and whatnot, and it gets it all set up. And now once you do that, it's just the easy part. You need to go to the App Store and download an app called either Printer Share or there's one other, but I like this one the best. So what this does is basically, the first time you start it up, it's going to ask you to select a default printer. So I just, I've done that already. Why was I zoomed in? I don't know. Anyway, so it'll ask you to set a default. I've done that. So now, if I want to print something, the easiest way is to just go into Documents. Because this pulls up the file browser. Uh, you can't print from the micro SD card. So that's kind of a shame, except you can print anything on here that is uh, some kind of document. So, let me see. Oh, and if you have any of these things that are similar to this that say batteryhistory.txt. Wow, that's still not focusing right. Anyway, don't print it because I did that to test it and it turned out to be about 2,000 pages. Yeah, that wasn't good. I had to cancel it. Um, so here is my statements for when I want to monetize my videos. As you can see, it gives you a nice little preview here. I believe if you tap it, it yep, it expands it up. And then if you want to print, you just hit print. If you want to change some things about it, you can do that in options. So, I mean, this works really well. So I'm going to go print this to my computer. So, I mean, it's not like an instant print. But as you can see, it it, uh, it actually sent it pretty quick. Oops. All right, so I'm just going to come right back with that printout. All right, so I'm back, and here's the printout. So it worked just fine. Uh, one thing to note, it takes about 10 or 15 seconds to go through the system just because it's going from your tablet through the network to the computer, going through Google Cloud, back onto the network, and then back to the printer. So it's not like you're just directly printing it to the printer. Sorry, I'm exhausted now. Um, but anyway, once you have that set up, you can do this from any, uh, I believe, any Android or Apple device or other smartphone, I, as long as it has either a printer share app or something similar that goes through Google Chrome, uh, it'll work. Wow, I'm really tired. Um, so, yep, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, watch my other videos, do whatever you can to help me out, because it means a lot. Like, a lot. Um, and if there is any apps you'd like me to review, um, any tutorials you'd like to see other than how to downgrade back to 3.2 because I don't know how to do that and if you know tell me but back to my point um, yeah so upcoming videos I'm just gonna go over really quick Sunday is going to be the weekly review because I'm busy all weekend and then hopefully soon after that I'll be doing a review of the full version of Minecraft Pocket Edition and soon after that I'll do a, a review of Virtual Contact or I might, I might actually include that in the weekly update, because uh, that's a, a Twitter app. And I don't know if I could get like a really long video out of that, just because it's like 
Twitter stuff. I don't know how to use it anyway. Um, oh, here's another app you can use. It's called Cloud Print. Basically, same thing, but it's just it's a little different. I don't think you can print from the SD card. Uh, no, you can't. But anyway, that is it. There's a thunderstorm. Uh, I'm not gonna waste my time anymore. Right, so upcoming videos. Like I said, Minecraft Pocket Edition. This will be in the weekly update. And then, hopefully, next weekend, I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Asus Transformer and the iPad 2. Uh, don't quote me on that. I will be doing that video, and I will be doing it soon. Just don't know when, so just give me some time. I will figure that all out. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see y'all later.